Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I wanted to do an unboxing video and first impressions of a couple of items. I'm assuming, I'm not too sure because I haven't opened it yet, uh, but a company called Galen Leather. I hope I'm pronouncing it properly. Uh, they contacted me asking to see if I wanted to review one of their products. So let's open this up. I must say that the time that they messaged me and um, had this shipped out was really, really quick. Oh, there's three boxes. So here's three boxes. Uh, let's start, I guess, from, right from the top. It's a really nice box. It says, handmade Galen leather, burnished edges, hand stitched, well aged. I believe they're from Turkey and they make everything there. Oh, this is really nice. Uh, this is... Let's start from here. Handcraft, handcrafted leather goods. I'm going to pause it here so that you can see. I really like the fact that uh, there's this, I guess, identification here of who made it. And it's made by Yusuf on August the 25th. And it tells you about care and cleaning and the leather, the, the leather that they use. My goodness, I'm so sorry. I really like this uh, tag. And this is the evil eye. Like an evil eye charm that you can use. And I'll leave it there so you can pause it and read it if you'd like. Really nice, it's like a glass charm. So let's start with this one here. This is really nice. Uh, it's a nice band that has their logo. It looks to be like an A6 size. It looks like an A6 size and it's zipper. The zipper is nice and uh, smooth. Oh, it, I thought it was a cover but it's you can actually put your pens in there. That's really neat. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can have a um, show you like a fat pen to see if it will go through. The elastics here are a little bit tight, but probably because of the packaging. Um, so you might have to loosen it up a bit. It's nice and snug. I think it would be perfect for fountain pens if you are a fountain pen user. Um, it was a little bit difficult to go in because of this rubber gripping, but if you had one of those like nice fountain pens, uh, I don't have my fountain pens here, um, I think it would go in nice and smooth. <laughs> I have this platinum preppy, yeah, see how smoothly that goes in? It's just because of this rubber piece that it was a little bit difficult to slide in, but uh, so there's five pen slots, and then you can definitely put in a A6 size notebook in there, like a thin one, maybe like a, uh, what's it called, Hobonichi Techo Avec, maybe would fit in there, or you can just leave it as is, and then put in some, I don't know, memo paper if you need uh, some paper that you want to write with. That's really nice. It's not too heavy, so if you're afraid of the cover, the leather covers being too heavy to carry, this would be perfect. And the lining is like, um, it's really fuzzy. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I'm going to try and see if I can get like a close-up shot of the inside. And the stitching is really nice as well. I don't see any loose threads or anything like that. I'm going to try my best to insert uh, close-up shots, but that's really cool. I guess if you are a fountain pen user or you like to have your pens with you, this is a really nice case. So there's that, and I love the zipper. I don't know, uh, for me anyways, if the zipper is not nice and smooth, it I don't like to use it that much like if it keeps getting stuck then I'll get fed up with it and I won't use the product but the zipper is really nice as well 
So there's that. Uh, I wish they had like the name of it. I don't know. The color of the leather is rustic brown, but I will uh, research it and see if there's a proper name for this uh, pen pouch. So there's the first one. And then the second box. There's the second box. And this is... Oh, you also, so I guess I'm guessing with each box you get this lovely evil eye charm. That's really neat. And this one is, the leather is the Crazy Horse, which I love. Um, once again, was made by Yusuf, and then the same information there. And the same uh, name band as well. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's really nice. I like how rustic it looks and I like all the dings already on it. I really, really like I know it's going to age really nicely, especially with the oils from the hands. And it smells so nice. Even though I'm not like smelling it up close, I can smell it. So there's just um, a cover in the middle. And wow, there's lots going on here. So there's a pocket on each side, I believe. And you can see there. There's a nice zipper, and there's one, two, three, four credit card slots. Let's see how deep this one is, this pocket here. Oh, oh it's quite deep, so it's about 11 and a half centimeters, so maybe something like that. There is a small pen loop. Oh, this is perfect. I like it when the pen loops are a bit, like, they're not fully leather, but there's a bit of elastic so that they will stretch. So it is um, elasticized. It's like half and half. Hope you can see that. So the um, leather pen loop is stitched as well. Like, the detail is crazy. I really appreciate those little details. They could have easily just uh, like they they could have easily just left it as is, but it's stitched all the way. Um, there's a nice small little secretarial pocket here, and then another pocket here where you can put you know credit cards. So I guess you can use this as a wallet as well. On the website, I've seen it where people include their Hobonichi Techo. So I did bring mine, um, the Hobonichi Techo Weeks. I'm going to have to do a separate video, but I haven't been touching my Hobonichi Techos at all, and I just feel so bad about it. But anyways, um, this is the Traveler's Notebook in the Olive Edition, and I just keep some of my work stuff in here. Uh, and the Hobonichi Techo Weeks that I'm using right now, I'm just using it for like the calendars for the U for my YouTube videos. But anyway, so let's take this out. Anyways, okay, so let's put this in and see how it looks. I haven't made my Hobonichi Techo order because I haven't really, like it's my, you can see it's like blank. So I told myself if I'm not going to use the Techo this year, like if I'm not going to use this, then I'm not going to get 2018, but oh, it fits perfectly. You can definitely carry it like that um, as a wallet. It has a really nice big zip pocket there, so if you need to put coins or your bills, I think this would be perfect for that. And then you can put your credit cards, your insurance cards and things, maybe some receipts in there. You can also put in like a thin, let me see if I can find like this one here, it would be perfect for that, this Field Notes pen. I think it's nice because of the weeks, isn't, it doesn't go all the way to the edge, so that it leaves the space for the pen. So the pen isn't sticking out. I mean, even if it does stick out, it's not a big deal. But it would be per like the weeks would be perfect for that reason. And I've also, I think I've also seen it being used inside the traveler's notebook. So I'm going to do that as well and see what it looks like. Just really like this. I like how dinged up it is already, and I know it's going to age so nicely. So let's take out these items. Um, so here again is the Traveler's Notebook in the Olive Edition. I'm just going to see what the overhang is like 
for this traveler's wallet insert I think is what it's called oh it's not bad so lying flat here you can see there's a bit of space on the edges and then when you keep when you close it up there is a little bit of an overhang but it's really not that bad I mean for some people it might bother you but it's not too bad the current one here they keep a notebook the, this one here, this folder, it also uh, over it overhangs as well. Um, so to me, it doesn't. It's I I'm not too bothered by the overhang, but for some people, it might it might annoy you, I guess. But if you have it flat down, there is a bit of space. And let's put in the insert. You definitely fit of inserts actually in there lots of room so there's a quick look at the travel wallet insert let's move on to the last box oh once again is the evil eye charm it's a really nice touch to have uh, a charm with your items and it is in the rustic brown leather and also made by Yusuf. Thank you, Yusuf. I don't know if you're watching it, but thank you so much for your hard work. This is beautiful. This is a pen pouch or like a pencil case, a, case, a small case. And let's take this out. I want to feel the leather without the padding inside. It's really nice see the dimensions it is about 18 and a half centimeters by 10 so if you had a small I mean if you have you can put definitely put like your washi samples and glue sticks and small scissors like the small little bits like planner bits you can definitely put in there look at the leather inside it's really nice and soft it's almost suede-like. It's really nice. And once again, the stitching is perfect. I don't see anything wrong with the stitching. I always worry about these little corners as well, but you can see there it's no problem at all. And once again, the zipper is perfect. So. I don't know if it will fit. I suppose, oh yeah, it fits pens perfectly. Like these small pens. I don't know if this one will fit. Oh yeah, it will. So you can most definitely fill it up with pens and erasers and <laughs> your planner bits. It's a perfect size. It's not too big. That's what it looks like against my hands, but really really excited to use these items I just want to thank Galen Leather again for um, giving me the opportunity to review these online and to share with you uh, yeah so don't forget to check the information down below I will leave all the uh, information to this company and if you have any questions please feel free to email me or leave a comment down below and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon bye bye